ChatGPT is a fantastic AI tool. But let's face it, it's still a bit of work to get the results and turn it into something that you can use or publish. Enter this new AI tool which leverages the power of ChatGPT specifically for writers and bloggers. In this video, I'm gonna profile Koala, which is a new AI writing tool that I've been testing and experimenting with. And I've been blown away by the quality of the results and the outputs. I'm gonna show you some examples of how you can use Koala, what it does, and how it builds on everything ChatGPT offers, except specifically for writers, bloggers, and anybody who produces content online. If you've got questions about Koala Writer, be sure and ask me in the comments section below and I could record a follow on video. Now let's dive in. Koala is an AI writing tool that builds on everything ChatGPT offers. The goal of Koala is to produce long form SEO optimized content. And it includes a chatbot similar to what you get inside of ChatGPT. So it'll integrate with Google Sheets too. And you can even try Koala for free on the website before you take out a subscription. Now when you do take out a subscription, you get access to some premium tools inside of Koala, including the ability to pull through real-time search results into your articles, and also the ability to browse stores like Amazon for product roundups. Koala Writer costs $9 per month. However, you can pay quite a bit more if you feel like you're gonna create a lot of AI content with this tool. Suffice to say, you can try it for free on the Koala website. Now I did take out a lifetime deal when I heard about this tool because I was blown away by some of the results, which I'm gonna show you now in a moment. Let's say I'm running a blog about decorating your home, and I want to write and publish an article full of tips for decorating an office like this one. Well, I could use ChatGPT4 to research this article. So ChatGPT4 is the latest model, and I'm simply gonna put in a prompt like this. Write me a listicle article about tips for decorating a home office. Here's what ChatGPT4 will produce. ChatGPT has produced a 600 word article full of 10 tips for decorating a home office. The tips are quite good, maybe a little bit generic. So the introduction uh, is also present and so is the conclusion. Unfortunately, there are no external links and there are no citations or sources. So if I were to use this article, I'd need to spend a bit more time finding external links, citations and sources to put into it. I'd probably ask ChatGPT to come up with some more titles or headlines, and I'd probably change the conclusion as well, as it looks like there's a bit of fluff here. But still, it's a good starting point. In Koala Writer, you can pick between ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4. Now, if you use 4, you'll get better results, but it will use five times more from your available monthly word count. You can also pick the article type that you want, a blog post or an Amazon product roundup. So in this case, we're gonna go with blog post. Then you just simply input the keyword that you're targeting. In this case, it's tips for decorating a home office. Next, you're gonna pick tone of voice. Personally, I found SEO optimized was a little bit dry, so I usually go with friendly. You can also pick your language, so I usually just stick with English US. And for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna focus on this language. Now here's where things get really good. You could also ask this tool to use real-time search results. So it's gonna bring in some links and citations for your article. Not only that, but you could actually ask Koala Writer to create an outline which you can review before it goes ahead and generates the article. And if that's not enough information for you, you can use the advanced options setting to put in some additional prompts into your article for content you want to include, for the introduction, and for the headlines. So I'm gonna say write five headlines. Now you can click on Create Outline and Koala Writer will just take a moment to generate an outline that you can review before you go ahead and produce the article with AI. So Koala Writer has generated a relatively detailed outline that I can use and I can determine if I want to add or remove any sections or subheadings or H2s from the article outline in question. And I can even add sections if I feel like something is missing. Then when I'm ready, I can just simply click on Write Article. Koala took about three minutes to generate this article and there's a number of key differences between this output and what ChatGPT created. First up, the word count. It's 1,723 words. The ChatGPT version was 600 words and it would require more prompts to create an article of this length. Secondly, I have an option to download the article to my desktop or copy it to another writing app like Google Docs. ChatGPT doesn't really do that because it's not really meant for producing long form content. You may remember that I gave it a prompt to create five different headlines. 
Well, here they are, and I can pick from them quickly and easily. This would require some additional work inside of ChatGPT. And now it's created an article that's correctly formatted for the web. So it has an introduction, has my H2s, bullet point lists, and so on. Here's another key difference between Koala and ChatGPT's results. It's brought in some external links and sources. So it's linked to another home decorating blog called My Domain. And it's also linked to Shopify. So I may want to inspect these two links to see if they add some context or if they add some relevance to the article that I've just produced. It's even suggested a couple of different potential products that I can include in my article. And if you provide some additional prompts at the setup stage, you can even ask Koala to restrict itself or confine itself to Amazon.com products, which is fantastic if you're promoting uh, Amazon products uh, as an affiliate. Alongside recommending products and providing sources and citations, Koala has even included a table which will be quite helpful for formatting this article prior to publication. Now the output clearly is much more usable than what's been created with ChatGPT. It's longer, it has external sources and it has products and it's specifically ideal for bloggers or in this case somebody running a home decorating blog. Now suffice to say the results are not perfect. I would not publish this for Batum. So let me show you a few things that I would look for. So firstly, I might play around with these uh, headings or should I say headlines for the article to find the right one based on my preferred keyword. Next up, I might insert some personal insights into the introduction to the article so it's not just something that's entirely been generated by AI. You may also notice that some of the links link to the same topic on another home decorating blog. So I may want to actually see, are these points relevant based on my expertise as a home decorator, if I was running this type of blog, and either remove this link and put in my own opinion, or perhaps keep the link in but rework it slightly. Similarly, you may notice that some of the headings say section five. So this is actually a little bit of filler or leftovers from those outlines that we looked at earlier on in the video. So I would just remove these. Similarly, uh, I would also have a quick look at the table to see if this is actually 100% accurate. And I would also go and expect each one of these links individually to make sure I'm not linking through to the same site multiple times. I would also be consistent about how I link. So in this case, it's hyperlinked a word. And in this case, it's hyperlinked the word source. Uh, there are also multiple bullet points. So I need to decide based on the style of my blog if I want to go with bullet points or paragraphs. So I could potentially rewrite these. And if I did want to rewrite these, I can actually go over to Koala Chat and I can say, turn this into a paragraph, much like ChatGPT. And then it will take these bullet points and turn it into a paragraph that I can copy back in to my article. Now, before publishing an article like this, I would copy it to my clipboard, I would insert some personal impressions, and then I would paste it into Grammarly and I would find and fix all of the grammar errors and I would also rewrite it based on my preferred style and tone. You could potentially use a tool like originality.ai as well. This is basically a piece of software which can supposedly determine if an article has been produced by AI content. Now I've had some mixed results with this, but still it's a good second line of defense that you can use if you're really concerned about AI content. So if I paste in this particular article, into originality.ai, it will score the article. And in this case, it's saying it's 98% original. Now, clearly the article is not 98% original because it has been produced by AI content. However, I have noticed that if I select ChatGPT4, the article will score better in originality.ai than if I use ChatGPT 3.5. So if you are concerned about AI content, this is something to bear in mind. So let's say I've published this article on my site, and now I want to publish a companion article of home office lights that people could buy. Well, I can use Koala to do just that. So under article type, I'm gonna select Amazon product roundup. Oh, and I should say that the team are currently working on different article types. So I would expect this to be built out over time. Again, I'm gonna put in my target keyword, and I'm gonna pick the Amazon domain that I want to find products uh, from and also select the number of products. And I can also put in my Amazon Associates ID, which is a real time saver for affiliates uh, as well. And I can also customize the tone of voice, the language and so on. Again, Koala Writer will take a few minutes to generate the article. So here is the output. It's got a nice lengthy introduction, which I may potentially want to edit. It's got a headline, which could probably do with a little bit of work, but it's a good starting point. It has the keyword. And then it has the multiple products that I can use or promote in this article with a link to the amazon.com website. 
It's even helpfully created pros and cons for me as well and inserted some personal impressions. Now the caveat here is that when I publish review articles, I like to test the products myself or I like to make sure that the writers have tested the products. But if you need help sourcing products to review when you're finding there's just too much on Amazon, this could save you a good bit of time. Or perhaps you already know what the products are, but you just find it a bit laborsome to turn all that sales copy into a blog post. Again, this is how you can potentially use this tool. Now, if I were to publish this article, I would still put in some photographs of the products in use. However, it is a bit of a time saver uh, if you're going to just simply use this particular output. So you can see here it's pulled in the imagery and it has links to amazon.com, has a blurb about each product, the pros and cons, and it doesn't pull through the pricing information so it's compliant uh, with the Amazon Associates program. You can also use Koala Chat, much like ChatGPT, to iterate sections in your article. So it's powered by ChatGPT 3.5, and I could take a headline and ask Koala to iterate it. So I could put in a prompt like this, write me 10 headlines about this topic, home office lights. And now the software will take, I suppose 10 or 15 seconds to generate 10 different headlines that I could potentially pick from for the article in question. Other prompts you may want to consider, write me a Twitter thread or write me an email for my subscribers or write me some sales copy about this particular product. Basically everything you can do with ChatGPT, you can now do it with Koala Chat because it's leveraging that technology. Here's another working example of an article I generated with Koala. It's about the topic of stability running shoes. So if you're not a runner, stability running shoes are basically a specific type of shoe or trainer which will help new runners maintain good form and posture while learning how to run long distance. Uh, so this is a long form, or should I say a long tail keyword that I could potentially be targeting with this article type. So Koala has answered the question in the introduction. It's also included a H2 with the subheading and then broken down the key features from stability running shoes. It's explained who should wear them and then got into more detail about the features uh, with specific information about why all of these features are relevant. It has a brief buying guide uh, and then it talks about the benefits of using stability running shoes and it also has a conclusion. Now, if I were to write this article, I would probably use Koala Writer to suggest some brands or some types of stability running shoes uh, that somebody should consider. And I'd probably put that into the article as well. And I would also check to make sure all of this is factually accurate. And I would ask Koala to include uh, real-time search results and links. Here's another example. Are Nike trainers waterproof? In this case, I asked Koala to include some real-time search results. So it's linked through to some articles explaining the key features of Nike trainers on the nike.com site. And it's also linked to some other running shoe blogs uh, as well. And it's talked about Nike's proprietary technology, which is known as Gore-Tex. Uh, and then it's actually recommended some products from Nike uh, that are waterproof and given some tips for maintaining these trainers too. Now again, I'd probably make some edits to this. I would put in some personal impressions. I would never publish an article that simply says conclusion. And I would also check that these are the latest products. But again, this is much, or this is a real time saver, uh, if I were to you know, write an article like this, which is arguably a little bit dry, but which could be relevant for generating traffic to my blog if it was focused on the topic of running shoes. So how am I using articles produced by Koala? Well, it's helpful to read Google's search guidance about AI generated content. It basically says that they will reward high quality content however it is produced. And that includes using AI. And in fact, Google has three different AI chatbots, including Google Bard, which they are in the process of releasing to the public. Now that doesn't mean you can take an AI article or it doesn't mean that I'm taking AI articles and publishing them verbatim on my site. On my main site, Become a Writer Today, I'm still continuing to work with freelance writers and not using AI content. That's because it's the most important website that I have. However, for smaller, newer websites that I'm currently running, I am experimenting with the articles that Koala Writer is producing to see if they'll start generating meaningful traffic. And if at some point they're hit by a Google penalty, well then it's not the end of the world. I'm also using Koala Writer to help with generating emails and social media content. That's because it can be a bit of a time saver rather than staring at the blank screen or a flashing cursor. And I'm using Koala Writer to come up with article outlines and ideas. I won't actually use the results verbatim, but this saves me a lot of time during the research phase. As you may have guessed, I've been blown away by the results I'm getting from Koala. I took out a lifetime subscription to the product once I started seeing what it was able to create. I'm currently using it on some of my smaller sites and as part of my research process. 
and I expect the tool to get better over time. For example, they're already working on an integration with WordPress and they're already working with different article types that users will be able to generate content for. So if you're interested in using AI as part of your writing process, or you simply want to understand how these tools work, then you can check it out for free on koala.sh. And if you're ready to take out a subscription, I have an affiliate link in the notes below this video, meaning I earn a small commission if you do sign up. Whatever you decide, AI is going to become an important tool within any writer's toolbox for the future. So it's helpful to understand what these tools can do and how they're going to change the process for anybody who's creating content online today. And if you've got questions or if there's something else you'd like to see, let me know in the comments section below this video.